Three, two, one, go. All right, what's up, y'all? So, Masquerade. So today, we're still still well well behind. Uh, four is Masquerade. So I just feel like a, some sort of mask, you know, like a Masquerade ball mask or a Masquerade. I don't know. I just I'm just seeing mask. We can use that nose that we had before. I don't think I want a sphere. I'm just gonna hide it for now, and I'm just gonna add a box. So we'll see. We'll see what we can do here. Uh, let's just validate it. Can't even see the orange thing. We'll make it a little bit bigger. We'll squish it a little bit more. Okay, so maybe we'll do something like that. Let's go ahead and remesh it. Let's, let's remesh it around two something. Okay, good. So we have our box. So this is going to be our mask. I don't really know what kind of mask, but we're just gonna go with it. We're just gonna have have some fun with it. So, okay, so if it's gonna be a mask, it's gonna be a little bit taller. All right. And I feel like I wanna use, let's see. Mask is good. Actually, maybe we should do the the shape of it first. I'm not sure. I'm not too sure. I think I have an idea. So first let's start out. Let's put well let's put symmetry on. I don't even know if this is gonna work. I don't know what kind of mask I want to do at all. Needs to be a little bit longer. Oh, we'll make it longer first. All right, so let's use the mask and let's make some sort of interesting shape for a mask. Okay, I think that shall work. Why is it so fuzzy? This needs like a fill drop, like procreate. Okay, so let's invert it and then let's build this out a little bit. Like so. All right, let's clear the mask. Ooh, look at the back of that. It's ugly. Let's remesh it. Did it remesh? Really? It didn't even change. I'm going to smooth out the back of this. Even though it's the back of the mask, I can't have anything that ugly. You know? I can't have anything that ugly. So we want to put, <coughs> excuse me, we want to put, oh, how do I want the stretch this, let's validate it, let's use the good old move tool with symmetry, we'll pull it out, squash it like this. Okay, 
Yeah, I kind of like that. Kind of wanted a little bit. We're just gonna go with the curves. That's the that's the good thing about. Uh, oh, let's use let's use pinch, and we'll just really lean into some of these curves. I might take them away later, but I'm not sure. But that's okay. For now, we'll just we'll just lean into it. Let's take move and. Pull this part down some. <clears throat> and I kind of want the out, I kind of want the back a bit wider. Okay, I think I like that. I'm going to make it a little thinner here at the bottom. Okay. All right. This is gonna be a weird mask, but that's okay. All right, let's trim the mask. Ooh, sure, I'll use orthographic. I should have been in orthographic. I don't like sculpting when I'm not in orthographic. Rectangle, trim. So we'll just trim that. Kind of get it cleaned up a little bit there. Let's trim the rest of this stuff. Let's see. So let's just use lasso, I think. Actually, no, we don't have to. Let's do it the easy way. We'll just go here and then we'll just trim the back. Whoops, with rectangle. So just trim the back. Like so. And let's see, what else do we want to do? Let's take layer. I guess we should make this we should form the shape of this thing so let's i'm just going to use move and since it's a mask i'm going to pull it forward widen it a little bit maybe widen it up here widen it a little bit down there Okay, everything's still straight, good. Look at all this, like, look at all these artifacts. I don't know how those artifacts got there. Did I cut the, I don't want to cut the mask. Keep doing the same thing. Just want to get rid of those little artifacts. Okay, we have the nose now that we can move up. Good, so now Let's let's use layer and where would the eyes be? Let's do sub. See how deep that goes. Oh, I kinda like that. Let's voxel remesh this thing. Let's do a quick save. What is this uh, masquerade? Oh, sh I don't know how to spell that. There we go. Thank you. All right, masquerade. So now let's. Now that we have some eyes, let's make this nose a little bit more in line with that. Okay. Oh man, this thing really uglied up. Let's use round edge and just round. This is gonna be this is gonna be pretty hopefully this will be a quick one. Oh, this looks so bad. That trimmed so bad. I maybe I should have I don't know what I should have done to make that better. Let's see if pinch helps. Oh, it's pinching the front part. I don't want to pinch the front part. Interesting. I can uh, maybe I can do this. And at least like give it like a decent finish so it doesn't I hate those little like dimples things that happen I 
can't have my mask looking like uh, even on the back I can't have it looking all ugly okay so there we go that's pretty good so let's use let's use clay and let's make some thingies there let's flatten out let's flatten out the top Ooh. Let's voxel remesh it. Does that make it a little stronger? Not really. But that's okay. Let's use let's use drag. Have some fun. Do I want to go outside of the mask shape? I kind of don't. I kind of just want to. Well, that's a little interesting. It's kind of cool. Maybe I can use some clay and like kind of join that. I should join the nose. Let's join all this together. Let's do a quick save and let's join all this together and just see what we get. So we'll voxel remesh all of this and let's smooth it and let's just see what happens. It's my favorite. Oh, there's holes. How did those holes show up? You guys are tripping. I'm not even worried about those holes. I am not worried about some little holes. I will just patch you up and keep it moving. Holes. You gotta be kidding me. Where's my move tool? Let me validate this. Where's where's move? Use move, turn on symmetry so it's nice and symmetrical, and we're just gonna patch patch this up. We'll push in a little more up top here. Holes. We'll do a quick save and then we'll just take these and we will voxel remesh them together. I'm I'm you know what? See? Boom. No more holes. I ain't got time for no holes. I might even voxel remiss you again. Now what? Okay, so um, well, I'm getting ideas in my head, by the way. So this is kind of cool. Let's, let's take a sphere. I got to do some other really short tutorials. This one is not, this one's shaping up to not be as short as I wanted, but that's okay. Let's do some fun stuff up here. Oh, symmetry. Such a love-hate relationship with symmetry. this up oh I love when I just like you know it's nice when you can just start like flowing and just like you don't even know what you're gonna get what you're gonna sculpt I love that okay I like it let's do let's see so this is the mask, oops, make sure we rename it. So that's the mask. Uh, this will be the headpiece. Let's add another sphere here and let's do some magic with it. So we'll make it smaller. I love playing with the mirrors. Let's validate these. Let's use move. We don't need symmetry. But we're just gonna make some nice. Let's flatten these up. I love making stuff with symmetry. Oops. stretch these. We made them bigger. Okay, 
I'm gonna push them in a little bit more. I don't know why, it just feels right. I don't know why, I don't know why. Okay, cool, so let's clone these and we'll do, oops, we'll bring them up and make them a little smaller. Bring them in, bring them down. Let's tilt them back a little bit. Yes, there we go. A little smaller, bring them a little closer. Man, this gizmo is really giving me a run for my money. Let's tilt these up a little bit more. Oh, let's do a line so I can just move it straight down the way that I want to. Okay, and let's clone this. Let's do something funky with this one. Let's rotate them up. Maybe we'll stretch it, make them closer. Let's use move and just like, I don't know, I try to think of like what, I try to think of the most random movement and position. And literally like that's what I think of. I try to think of like what's the most random position that I'll be able to do. And then I just go from there. Uh, let's use crease and sub and symmetry because the symmetry should still be intact on this thing. Look at that. Okay, we have some other little symmetries. Actually, maybe we can connect these. Okay, there's another one here. So maybe I can start like at the bottom here. Oh, what are we gonna do for the mouth? The mouth, the mouth, the mouth. Uh, Oh, um, let's see. Let's try, let's try clay. I don't know if I want a regular mouth, but it might actually be kind of cool. Let's try crease, regular crease. Okay, uh, it's kind of interesting. Let's do um, uh, pinch maybe. Let's see if we can pinch something into this upper lip. That pinch is pretty serious. Crease. Okay, that's kind of interesting. Maybe crease with the sub. Maybe we can do something interesting here. Like maybe from the creases in the mouth that we can just make like, cause we have to, we have to tie, I wanna tie this in. Maybe this can go and be like the, the nostrils, that's weird. That's super creepy. I guess this whole thing is super creepy though, isn't it? Okay, let's do, so let's make some more here. And what if they just go down kind of into the mouth? Oh, that's, that's creepy. That's creepy, but it looks great. 
Okay, let's take um, Sphere. We'll mirror it. We'll take the gizmo. Do we? Let's validate it. We'll move it over and let's just have something in there with the eyes. They don't have, actually have to be like eyes, but just kind of like shapes. I think I want in there. We'll just use move and kind of fill this space. I better be still recording. I gotta, I gotta be, make sure that I always check my phone, make sure it's recording, make sure I have the right. There we go. Let's use drag and try to really form fit it. That's what I want. Okay, cool. Let's use uh, let's use layer, and maybe we can do something interesting in here. Ooh, you know what we can do? We can use mask. We can use mask. And we can do symmetries on. And what's an interesting shape we can make? That's an interesting shape. We'll invert it. We'll pop it out a little bit. We'll clear the mask. And then we'll smooth it. And sometimes I just like to use these as like kind of like a template. They don't really, it is, it's never really as smooth as I want, but then I can just go with the crease and give it some crease action. And that usually brings it out the way that I, the way that I want it, <clears throat> which is kind of cool. Oh, but it needs something. It still needs to be tied in. It doesn't feel doesn't feel tied in so what if there's a line what if there's a crease right in the middle of it that's kind of interesting I kind of like it does that look too much like a heart I might have to voxel remesh this. Let's do a quick save. Let's do some lines on this too. Why not? Might be able to do some on these. Got some weird artifacts there. What was that? Just some interesting things. So, uh, ooh, I don't want that. I want symmetry. So the reason why I'm doing like things like this is I like making like interesting lines that the light can catch. So it kind of gives them a little bit of like life, like they could be, you know, feathers or something like that. Uh, I think I want to flatten this for some reason. And now that I've flattened it, let's see if we can do a pinch, even on the eyes, really get that nice and sharp. We won't look at the back of the mask. The back of the mask is fine. It'll be all right. So I just want to put something else on the bottom. Let's use this sphere. Let's mirror this. Oh, let's validate it. No. There we go. We'll use this big sphere. So let's bring it close. Let's use move. Let's see, what would be a nice shape here? Let's make this nice and big. OK, 
Okay, that's kind of cool. Let's add a cylinder. Um, let's do gizmo. Let's do snap. Snap it forward 90 degrees. You can turn snap off. I don't think we need it. We'll mirror it. Gizmo again. Let's validate this and let's just kind of move it. We don't need symmetry anymore. So we'll give it a little push and maybe a little pull. I don't know what this is supposed to be, but sometimes I like that. I like not knowing, maybe drag is better. And let's put, let's pull it out a little bit. So like something that's sitting on whatever those things are. So we can drag, that's pretty good. I'm gonna drag it into the, I want it to be making contact. Okay. And okay, what else? It needs something else. Let's use, uh, Let's use another sphere. I was going to use a cylinder, but we'll use a sphere. I'm going to validate it and use gizmo. And then I'm going to bring it down. I'm going to make it real big. Flatten it. And then I'm going to use move with symmetry. And we need like... It's okay. I know it's touching, but we'll move it back. Kind of be like some sort of strange. I don't know. I don't know what it'll be, but I like it. Let's. Uh, oh, what is it? Is this in a mirror? No, I don't want it in a mirror. So we'll we'll name this neck. Uh, so we'll just call it a scarf for now. I don't think masquerade really. Meshes with scarf, but you guys get it. Let's do crease and let's just make this thing more interesting. Uh, let's do a quick save and then voxel remesh it just to make it a little bit stronger. Or when I say stronger, I just wanted to. Oh, that came out ugly. Let me smooth this out a bit. I just mean I want when I use the tools for them to be a little bit more. Um, okay, let's start. Let's start down here. Do another little swirl here. Why do I feel like... What about regular crease? How does that look? Oh, that kind of looks interesting. What if we do both? What if I do that and then I do a crease? That's interesting. Okay. Just want to do some other little creases here. Just to kind of... Okay, cool, cool. Do I want to do any more? Do I want to do any like going off this way? Hmm. 
Mm, doesn't really need it. Oh, maybe there's something though peeling off from here. Doesn't really need it. I think that mask looks pretty cool. I think that looks, I think that looks cool. All right, so let's front. Oh, that actually looks nice front on. So we will save this view. We'll just name it one. And then we'll go back here and we'll change from everything from lit PBR or mat, mat cap to lit PBR. So then we'll take everything and paint it my normal base color, paint all. Uh, let's put post process on for now and let's turn off, actually let's leave it off. Let's turn off the environment and then add a light. Oh, you know what I should have done though? I should have made the whole thing subsurface. You know how I love my subsurface. Let me turn it down, I don't want it to be too crazy. So we have our light, this will be the key here I think two is okay I feel like the background needs to be darker I feel like a black background works yeah uh, okay so we'll we'll clone this we'll call this rim this will be a rim light we'll change it to a spotlight we'll move it over and behind it nice actually too so we'll point it to the back part Move it over so we can just get right over the yeah over the shoulder we'll turn it up a little bit and we'll use the orange node to make it a little bit wider so let's take a look at our view our front view that looks great it actually looks nice there you can check it out Sometimes it might, sometimes, ooh, maybe we want it to catch that nose a little bit. That's kind of nice if it catches the nose. Okay, what color do we want? Do we want this to be like blue, like cool? Like that one can be a cool color. You know what else we can do? We can clone this and this will be rim two. And maybe we can make this one a little more warm and we'll just drag it over to the opposite side and point it. Maybe we wanna point it from the bottom coming up. It's kinda of cool. We could also use like a red. It's a nice color. I kinda of like the yellow. I kinda of like the yellow. So let's use, let's add another light and well, we could use some fill. No, let's, let's not use fill. Let's make this a top-down light. Because it's a mask. Mask is pretty cool usually with like top-down. So, well, yeah. So we'll put it right over. Maybe make it a little bit more intense. That looks cool. Noise. Um, hmm. Oh, where are the eyes? Where are the eyes? Oh, no, they're there. They're there. I see them. I see them. Okay, I like this, so let's turn on post-process and see what we have. Let's put our preset. Oh, it is my preset. Okay, that's fine then. That's fine. Do we wanna do any more of this? I don't think we need to. Let's turn on the environment and turn it way down. Just so it gives us a little bit of fill. Nice. And what color do we want to make this? The eyes, <clears throat> let's just validate these and call them eyes. Okay. Maybe we want to make them like a dark, yeah, like a dark mahogany kind of. And this, the, the regular mask, Ooh, that looks nice as a brown. That's a nice color. This, I feel like we should make this a little bit lighter. And then make, 
these even more light. Maybe a little bit less roughness for those. I don't know why. Do we want to make them the same brightness or a little brighter? I don't know why I'm, I want to do a gradient. You know what? I'm tempted to go lighter, but maybe this is a nice dark. No, glossy is too much, but maybe that's a nice dark brown. There, maybe even darker. Switch, you gotta switch it up on them. Uh, this, uh, I think we wanna go light. This, maybe we'll go a little bit. Mm. I think I wanna do this color for that. And this plate. Maybe we'll do a little, yeah, there we go. That looks nice. It'd be cool to do some, uh, some like wood grain. That'd be cool, but that would take, that would take a long time. So I'm not going to do that. So let's just hit a quick save and is there anything else I want to do lighting wise? I don't think so. I think I'm good lighting wise. Let's take a look at it without some of the lights. Sometimes it's good to like look at it without all of the extra lights. Like what if it was just that? Like even that looks cool. That looks, that's cool. That's pretty cool. Key? What if we turn the key down a little bit? Hmm. I don't know. It is nice. It's nice when it's nice and bright. But maybe it's a little too bright. You know what it is? You know what I think I need to do? I think I need to change it to a spotlight. And just make it like... Maybe put it like in front, like it's being shined down upon. Maybe that's the answer. Make it a little bit more warm. I don't know. It feels like it should be kind of dark. But I don't want it to be too dark. I like it. I'm going to call it. I think that's really cool. Uh, yeah. So, masquerade. Cool, cool mask. It's kind of hard to see. Let me see if I can get it better. Yeah. I don't know why I keep doing that's a little bit of a better view, so let's just send it off. And yeah, that'll be Masquerade. I'm going to do some other videos. Um, who knows when this will come out, but going away soon, so i got to bust them out. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you learned something. And yeah, give me a holler. Hello. Say what's up. Keep drawing, keep sculpting. I'll see you all in the next Thank you so much for watching the video. Be sure to like and subscribe. It really helps me out, really helps my channel out. Definitely check out my Skillshare classes. I have 2D classes in Procreate and 3D classes in Nomad Sculpt. Keep drawing, keep sculpting, and I'll see you all in the next video.